All right, so my man Sheldon Tweedy, some of you guys might follow his channel already, hooked it up with some gear from his new company, Steps. Big shout out to you, Sheldon, much appreciated. Uh, I'll link all his stuff in the description below, but, uh, but let's break this open. Oh, all right. So first thing I'm seeing, we got a full set of the Steps resistance bands. For those of you who have followed me for a while know that I absolutely love these things. I use them in the gym all the time. I only have the black and the blue ones, so this completes the set, which is awesome. I'm a sucker for these kind of things. I absolutely love this stuff. And my girlfriend uses this stuff too, so she'll make good use of it as well. And then we got the grip socks, which I am really excited for. I've always wanted to try out the grip socks, but never could really justify spending the 40 or 50 bucks or whatever it is that, that they normally cost. But I do know that these cost a lot less. Oh man, these are actually really nice. So you got the rubber grips on the bottom so your feet don't slide around. I have really narrow feet, so most cleats fit me kind of wide and my feet do slide around a lot. I'm super pumped to try this stuff out. Sheldon, massive thank you to you. All this stuff's in the description below. Check it out, and I'll give you a better look of everything that's inside. Here's a better look at everything. Got the black and the white grip socks, full set of resistance bands, little carrying case. Sheldon, good stuff. I approve, real high quality. Can't wait to train in them. All right guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to today's training session. In this session, my primary focus was all on my first touch. A good first touch is so important in improving your game. And what I see a lot in players when they ask me for advice, how can they get better on the field? It's often their first touch that's lacking. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three of my absolute favorite drills that I love doing and that I promise you will improve you. You will get better by doing this. They're extremely simple drills, but for those of you that know how I train and know my philosophy on training, I promise you that keeping it simple is the best way to go about getting better. All right, so what I'm gonna do today all revolves around a wall. So after I took about 10, 15 minutes to warm up, I got into the session. The first drill you're seeing now is just using a wall, doing 100 passes with the right foot, 100 passes with the left foot, and then 100 passes alternating between both feet. So 300 passes total. The first set of this that I did, I was standing about a yard away from the wall, which doesn't allow a lot of time for you to react as the ball comes back. But if you look closely, if you pay attention, I'm never standing flat-footed. I'm always bouncing on my toes, getting ready, preparing myself for that ball to come back. So I'm always ready. And that's a good tip, not only for training, but in the game as well. You never want to be caught flat-footed. You don't want to react to the ball coming to you. You always want to be prepared before that ball gets to you. And with every single pass, I'm trying to hit the same exact spot on the wall every single time. Focus on that first touch, keep control of the ball, put it exactly where you want it. So there's 300 touches right off the bat. Right after those 300 passes, I'm getting into 300 juggles. The first 100 juggles, very simple, just alternating feet, getting a feel for the ball. The next 100 juggles are all with the right foot, and the last 100 juggles are all with the left foot. I know doing 100 juggles on your weaker foot isn't easy, but if you drop the ball, just continue where you left off. It doesn't matter how many times you drop it, just focus on getting clean touches, and over time, you'll see a lot of improvement. I'm someone that firmly believes that juggling can really improve your first touch. I've noticed it myself, and before every training session, I do at least 500 juggles, just warming myself up, getting a feel for the ball before I do any drills. So there's one set of the wall passes, 300 touches, one set of the juggling, another 300 touches, we're going to go through that three times, so three sets of each, switching it up a little bit every time. So back to the wall for the next 300 passes, moving a little bit further away this time, so about three, four yards away. Just by watching this, you might think it's easier moving further away than standing right up against the wall, but actually it's a little bit more difficult because you have to focus on that first touch even more. It's a lot of touches, it's a lot of reps, but keep it quality. So after we finish those passes, we're going to get back into juggling. The first 100 juggles are going to be two touches alternating between each foot. So two touches with the right, two touches with the left, two right, two left. The next 100 juggles, every 10th juggle is going to go over your head, keep it up on the other side. And again, if you drop the ball, that's fine, just keep counting, you will get better over time, just keep practicing this and it will improve your first touch.
The last 100 juggles are all going to be waist height. So keep control of the ball, know how much weight to put on the ball to keep it at your waist, and focus on every single touch. So that's two rounds down, one to go. We're going to go back to the wall. This time we're going to move even further away, five to seven yards. Same thing, 100 with the right, 100 with the left, 100 alternating. Moving on to the last 300 juggles, the first 100 are going to be kept as low as you possibly can. Definitely below the knee, pretty much just bouncing off your toes. Just get 100 quick juggles as low as you can. The next 100 juggles are going to be 100 at head height. Again, focus on how much weight you put on the ball, focus on your touch, keep the ball at about head height every single time. The last 100 juggles, every 10th juggle, you're just gonna knock the ball up in the air over your head. The higher you kick it up, obviously the more difficult it'll be, and control it with either your laces or your instep, alternating between each foot. So that's the first 1800 touches done. It's a lot of reps, but that's how you get better. Just focusing on the extremely simple things, but doing them well. Moving on to the next drill, I set up three cones about a yard away from the wall. We're gonna do four different variations, 30 reps each. So the first variation is just taking that first touch using the inside of your foot across those three cones to the other side, playing it with the opposite foot, and then same thing. Touch across the cones using your instep, play with the other foot. I love doing these drills. You'll hear me say it a lot. They are so beneficial at improving your first touch because every touch is so important. So after you completed 30 reps using the inside of your foot, same thing but using the outside of your foot. So play the ball with one foot, take that touch across those cones with the outside of the foot, pass, touch, pass, touch as quick as possible. Third variation is taking that touch across using your instep again, but this time opening up your hips to do so. So you're going to pass with the left foot, open up, take that touch using the inside of your right foot across, and then play with the right foot. Open up, take that touch using the inside of your left foot. And the fourth variation that I did was dragging that ball across using the sole of your foot. So we're using all different parts of the foot. This time you're gonna pass, tap, brush. Pass, tap, brush. Again, as quick as possible. Focus on those touches. So those are the four variations, 30 reps each, and I went through that two times. Moving on to the final drill, I made an octagon using eight cones about five yards away from the wall. So standing in the middle of the cones, I would pass through that first gate, ball would come back to that first gate, and I would take that first touch straight ahead. Then I would reset, same thing, pass against the wall, ball comes back, I would take that touch over to the next gate. So I did two sets using the inside of my left foot, two sets using the inside of my right foot, two sets using the outside of my left foot, and then two final sets using the outside of my right foot. And this drill solely focuses on that first touch. You don't want that ball getting caught underneath your feet. We're using all different parts of the foot, making sure that first touch takes you outside of that gate and exploding out. And I'll leave a raw, uncut clip in here of an entire set just to show you that every single pass and every single touch needs to be perfect. I mess up all the time. It doesn't matter. Just get back in, reset, make sure that next touch is good. And I can't stress this enough, focus on the quality of your touches. Don't cut any corners because doing it right in training will prepare you to do it right in the game.
All right, so as you guys saw, I just finished up. That session normally takes me like an hour, hour and a half. Those are probably my three, well, definitely my three favorite drills when I come to the field and just use the field hockey goal as a wall or go to a tennis court or whatever. I can't stress enough how important it is using a wall in your training. I don't know how many touches I got today, but I'll count it up and let you know. I'm telling you, when you're just training by yourself and want to work on your passing and your first touch, there's almost nothing better than just using a wall. And it's something that can be used at any skill level too. You want to make it more challenging, knock the ball harder, it'll come back harder. I've been just knocking the ball against the wall for years now, and even I can see a lot of improvement in my first touch. So definitely give this session a try. I promise it will make you better. Oh, and as far as the grip socks go, Sheldon, my man, you freaking killed it. I genuinely love these things. I'm not being paid to say anything good about them. He just hooked me up with a few pairs, but I genuinely think I found my new training socks. I've never used grip socks before, but like I said, my feet are super narrow, and I'm wearing the new Superflies right now, which are like the most narrow cleats you can get, and my feet are still kind of sliding around in them. I need to really strangle my feet in them for them to stay. But I love these things. Um, I talked to Sheldon, hooked me up with a code so you guys can save some money if you order them. I'll link everything in the description. Just use my code, it's in the description too. Um, save yourself some money, get yourself some quality socks, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.